As the countdown to the RNC in Jacksonville continues, one welcoming committee member says he will not be participate, part participating. In fact, he says he never agreed to participate. The Jacksonville 2020 Host Committee announced the 32 people who are leading the efforts to host the Republican National Convention. However, one committee member that was printed on the banner says he never agreed to participate. In this Facebook Live video, Bishop Vaughn McLaughlin, the founder and senior pastor of the Potter's House Church in Jacksonville, says he might be listed on the banner of RNC committee members, but he told Mayor Lenny Curry he did not want to participate. Everybody that knows me knew that I said I would not be on that committee, all right? I did not consent to being on that welcoming committee. The mayor asked me, and I said no. However, McLaughlin said he did agree to something else. Working with the um, uh, Chamber of Commerce to try to make sure that black folk get some money and that black folk could be represented properly. It's the only thing I'd said I'd do, and I'd work with Daniel Davis, but not to be on the welcoming committee. Mick Laughlin is listed among many influential people in Jacksonville. Pam Bondi, the former Florida Attorney General. Daniel Davis, President and CEO of Jack's Chamber. Daniel Ford, CEO of the Jacksonville Transportation Authority. Leon Haley Jr., the CEO for UF Health Jacksonville. But for McLaughlin, he says he will not be a part of the welcoming committee. And I have reached out to him for a one-on-one -on -one interview and the RNC committee regarding this matter. I'm waiting on their response. In the meantime, if McLaughlin is not participating, it's unclear if someone else will take his committee seat. The RNC will be held at the Vine Star Veterans Memorial Arena in late August. Here's a look at the lineup, according to what sources have told News for Jax. First Lady Melania Trump is expected to speak Tuesday, August 24th, followed by Vice President Mike Pence on Wednesday, and President Trump accepting the nomination of the Republican Party on Thursday.